Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Stefan Kesting from grapplearts.com and this is my friend Dennis Kang. Now we're going to be showing, or Dennis is going to be showing, a spinning backwards upside down baseball choke, but it's more commonly known as the Kang choke. The Kang choke, yeah. because uh, I mean, as far as I know, I'm the first one to start doing it. Nobody showed it to you. That's right. Nobody showed it to me. I, you know what? I don't want to say that you know I ever dis or invent anything in jiu-jitsu. I only discover new techniques. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty uh, pretty wise anecdote right okay. there. So let's go, let's get started. So it starts from a side mount. Again, I'm gonna go on this side. So I'm in Kisakatami or broken scarf hold, okay? The reason why I like this choke is because you're setting up the choke without giving it away. So I grab this collar here, loose, okay? So don't grab it tight. This would be behind the head, this would be considered tight. So I'm grabbing it a little bit more here. Yeah, I'm not, so I'm not worried yet. No, collarbone, right? So there's no pressure just yet. So I'm gonna spin and go belly down. This hand for balance is gonna go here, and I'm gonna go on my toes and spin to the other side. Now this is more confusing than anything to the other guy. This doesn't need, still doesn't feel like a choke. Now you'll notice this hand is still holding onto the collar. It's upside down. Okay, so this is important because you need to have it loose. If you grab too tight initially, you're gonna lose this grip. It's too hard. So grab it loose. Now the choke comes on. This hand goes here. Grab the fold of the gi. Okay, at this point, this is gonna be pulled too tight for you to grab thumb inside, in my opinion. Okay, so grab the fold. Okay, and look, I spin back around. And to put the pressure on, I come down. Oh my God, that's okay. super powerful. Yeah, so again, the pressure to come on, you need to squeeze with your arms like this and move yourself back. It's not straight down, it's back. Can you show it again from a slightly different angle? Absolutely. Spin? So again, this position here, I don't want to give the choke away, so I'm just grabbing loosely right here. I innocently turn to my belly and I want to turn to the other side. See if I'm spinning here, right here, grab the fold of the gi. Does it matter? Does my arm have to stay here? No, okay. absolutely not. Okay. It's actually better if the arm's there. Okay. Now, I guess you could say that the trigger of the choke is as soon as you grab here. So I'm over here, the choke is still not on. It just feels like I'm holding him. Okay, as soon as this Gets grabbed, the choke goes into action. So watch, here, right, and I start to spin. Okay, I'll tell you a little detail. My head needs to spin to this side to help grab the leverage, okay? Now look at my hips. Is this position correct? No, it's wrong. My hips are up, they need to be down. And from here I go back, okay? So I'm squeezing and sagging down and back. It's incredibly That's powerful. It. Your weight going back tilts my head back, and then your hands are right in oh, the Oh, that's right, there. because my forearms are scooped underneath the chin, right on the neck. Yeah. So it's a blood choke. Very, very, very cool. Thank you, Dennis. You got it. Anytime. Give that a try for sure.